The New York Jets threw their full support behind Geno Smith as their starting quarterback throughout the offseason, and to me that made a lot of sense. With a young quarterback, you need to maximize his reps, maximize his growth opportunities, and figure out exactly what you have. Smith has been a turnover machine through the first two seasons of his career, but the Jets were betting on the come. With Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know exactly what you have, for better or worse. He's got a 33-55-1 and one record as a starting quarterback. He goes back to the Buffalo days with the Jets offensive coordinator, Chan Gailey, so you know that he knows that offense inside and out. Really, there was always the potential that the Jets would get through the preseason, get into late August, early September, and decide we're better off going with Ryan Fitzpatrick, who doesn't need all the physical reps to be prepared to start in week one. Now there's no option. Geno Smith is out six to ten weeks with a broken jaw. And in the short term, that doesn't substantively impact how I perceive the Jets in terms of their possibility for making a playoff push in 2015. The bigger question is in the medium and the long term. How does this impact Geno Smith's development? And what happens when he's healthy enough to play? A lot of that is going to depend on how Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Jets come out of the gate as they evaluate exactly how to reintegrate Geno Smith somewhere down the line.